Choosing healthy food. Most adults and children require two serves of fruit a day. There is no need to label root for fruit, as all fruit is healthy, as it is high in fibre, rich in vitamins and minerals, and most fruit has a low GI. A serve of fruit equals one medium piece of fruit, two pieces of small fruit, 20 grapes or cherries, one cup of diced or canned fruit, drained from natural juices, small serve of dried fruit. You can enjoy any fresh frozen, dried and canned fruits. When choosing canned fruit, choose canned varieties in natural juice or juice. Not syrup, as syrup has added sugar. It is recommended that fruit juice is only consumed on occasions, as one glass of juice may have three to four pieces of fruit, which is well above the recommendation of serves of fruit. Fruit juice also lacks fibre, which is found within whole fruit which is important to keep our bowels healthy. Fruit contains carbohydrate, so you need to count it as part of your meal. But overall, fruit is a readily available source of energy packed with vitamins, minerals and fibre that keep you healthy. Make sure you try to enjoy two serves of fruit every day for good health. All vegetables are very important as part of a healthy diet as they provide essential vitamins, minerals and fibre. Most adults require five to six serves of vegetables a day, with most children requiring two to five serves. A serve equals half a cup of cooked vegetables, one cup of raw green leafy vegetables, half a cup of cooked, dried or canned beans. Most vegetables contain little or no carbohydrate, which means they have minimal impact on blood glucose levels. This includes non-starchy vegetables and salads, Starchy vegetables such as potato, sweet potato, legumes and corn contain carbohydrate. These vegetables can still be included in the diet. However, aim for smaller serving sizes if you have type 2 diabetes or are trying to manage your weight. For example, allocate starchy vegetables to just one quarter of your plate and allocate half of your plate to non-starchy vegetables. Choose all fresh, frozen and dried vegetables. When choosing canned vegetables, choose the lowest in sodium and fat. Choose a variety of different types and colours of vegetables, as different types provide different vitamins and minerals. Low GI starchy vegetables include corn, Nicola potatoes, Charisma potatoes and legumes. Frozen vegetables are useful to keep in the freezer for when fresh vegetables are not available or in season. Vegetables are generally very low in energy and eating vegetables as part of a balanced diet is one of the easiest things we can do for achieving better health and well-being. Make sure you try to enjoy five serves of vegetables every day for good health. Cereals are a source of carbohydrate and can be a good source of vitamins, minerals, fiber and healthy fats. See your accredited practicing dietitian to see how many serves to aim for. When looking for a healthy cereal, compare the dietary fiber, total fat, saturated fat and sodium per 100 grams. Look for a product that has more than 6 grams of dietary fibre per 100 grams, less than 400 milligrams of sodium per 100 grams. Some cereals can be higher in fat due to the presence of nuts, seeds, grains and oats. However, these are healthy fats that will not increase your cholesterol. Aim for less than 10 grams of fat per 100 grams and less than 3 grams of saturated fat per 100 grams. Healthy breakfast cereal includes rolled oats, oatmeal, untoasted muesli, whole grain cereals, bran based cereals. Highly processed cereals can be low in fibre and high in salt and should be eaten in moderation or replaced with whole grain cereals that ensure an adequate nutrient intake. Cereals are relatively inexpensive nutrient-dense and convenient foods which can be recommended to form part of a healthy and balanced diet. Certain processed cereals can also be high in added sugar which can affect blood glucose levels. It is recommended to always look at the ingredients list to see if the sugar comes from the natural sources like dried fruit or through added sugar. Healthy fats are an important part of healthy eating. 
Choose plant-based oils and margarine spreads such as canola, sunflower, rice bran and olive oils. Rice bran and canola oil are best for cooking at high temperatures, whereas extra virgin olive oil is best for cooking at low temperatures and raw. Saturated fats such as butter, ghee, clarified butter, dripping, lard, coffee, palm oil and coconut oil have saturated fat and therefore are unhealthy choices for your heart. Use small amounts of oil and spreads if you are watching your weight. A great rule is one teaspoon per person per meal. Plant sterile margarines are expensive, but may be useful if you have high cholesterol. See your accredited practicing dietitian for more information about these foods. Other healthy spread alternatives may include avocado, hummus, tahini, and low-fat ricotta and cottage cheese. This all can bring healthy fats into the diet. Dietary fats are essential to give your body energy, support cell growth, help your body absorb some nutrients, and are an important part of a healthy diet. Just remember to choose foods that provide healthy fats, like monounsaturated and polyunsaturated fats, and balance the amount of energy you eat from all foods with the amount of energy you burn. Milk, yogurt and cheese products provide calcium for healthy bones. To meet calcium requirements, adults require two and a half to four serves of dairy a day, and children require one and a half to three and a half serves of dairy per day, depending on their age. One serve equals one cup of milk or calcium fortified soy or rice milk, 200 grams of yogurt, half a cup of ricotta cheese, 40 grams of hard cheese. Hard cheese should be limited to only 40 grams three times per week. This is due to its high fat and salt content, which isn't good for our heart or blood pressure. Look for cheese with less than 20 grams of fat per 100 grams and less than 800 milligrams sodium per 100 grams. Healthy options may include plain or flavoured low-fat cottage cheese, ricotta cheese or quark, fat and salt reduced cheese. Use a little amount of strongly flavoured cheese, such as Parmesan cheese, in place of a large amount of grated cheddar cheese in meals and sauces. Use cottage cheese instead of butter in sandwiches or filled rolls. Cheddar, cream and soft cheeses are high in fat. Choose reduced fat varieties and eat small amounts. Let's take a look at milk, other milk alternatives and yogurt. The milk and yogurt aisles are jam-packed with many brands. To keep it simple, Healthy options include low-fat, skim, and diet options. On a nutrition information panel, look for milk and yogurt with less than 2 grams of fat per 100 ml or 100 grams. For yogurt, also look for less than 400 kilojoules per 100 grams. Many people worry about the amount of sugar that appears on the label of yogurt. Most of this sugar is a natural form of carbohydrate found in both milk and yogurt, called lactose. Milk and yogurt is a perfect low GI snack. Evaporated, condensed and UHT milks are all available in low fat varieties. Choose calcium fortified soy or milk alternatives. Choose low fat or diet yogurt with or without added fruit. Low fat natural or Greek yogurts are a great alternative for creams and sour creams for meals and desserts. All of these alternatives can be especially useful if you are trying to lose weight as these choices will help reduce your daily energy intake while still getting the health benefits and the nutrients these foods provide, which play a major role in being healthy. The energy in dairy mainly comes from carbohydrate, protein and fat. Dairy foods contain the sugar lactose, a carbohydrate, and will affect blood glucose levels, BGLs, so the portion of these foods needs to be monitored. The benefit of consuming yogurt that is not found in most milk is the presence of probiotics, which are healthy bacteria which help maintain our digestive and immune health and reduce the risk of certain diseases. Dairy products are convenient, have various health benefits and are a good source of many nutrients that we need to maintain good health. Protein foods such as lean meats, eggs, legumes and tofu 
have various nutrients and are important for growth and the repair of muscles. Most adults need three to four serves, while children need one to three serves of protein foods. One serve of protein looks like 65 to 100 grams of cooked lean meat, poultry and fish, two large eggs, half a cup of cooked or canned legumes, 170 grams of tofu, 30 grams of unsalted nuts or seeds. As a rough guide, allocate quarter of your plate to protein-based foods at your main meal. Most fresh cuts of meat and poultry will not have a nutrition label. Look for lean cuts of unprocessed meat with little visible fat and trim skin from poultry. When shopping for healthier options of processed meats, look for less than 10 grams of total fat per 100 grams, less than 3 grams of saturated fat per 100 grams. These products are still generally higher in sodium, therefore compare low-fat products for the lowest sodium content and have occasionally. Choose mince with limited flecks of white fat throughout it. Cut the fat off the meat before cooking. Grill, bake, steam, boil, roast on a rack, or poach meat rather than frying. Skimming the fat off the top of casseroles, stews and mints will lower the fat content of your meal. Add extra vegetables or legumes to make meat go further. Use leftover cooked meat for sandwiches or tinned fish, instead of processed meats that can be high in sodium. Sausages, saveloys, luncheon sausage, bacon, pork bones, brisket and salami are high in fat and salt, which can raise your risk of certain health problems. This means these types of meat should only be chosen occasionally and eaten in small amounts. Meat that is lean with the extra fat and skin removed is a good source of protein, vitamins and minerals and is one of the main sources of vitamin B12. People with diabetes and prediabetes have a greater risk of cardiovascular disease. Fish and seafood contain omega-3 fats, which are a type of polyunsaturated fat that can help improve heart health. Including at least two serves of oily fish in your diet each week can help to reach these recommendations. Oily fish includes salmon, sardines, barramundi, rainbow trout, mackerel and trevala. Other seafoods such as prawns, squid and mussels also contain some omega-3 fats and can be excellent substitutes for meat in meals. Choose frozen, fresh or tinned with lowest sodium content and if choosing canned fish, buy the product with the least amount of salt per 100 grams such as fish in spring water or olive oil rather than in brine. Healthy ways to enjoy fish and seafood include baked, poached, grilled and steamed and should be included in a healthy eating plan to increase the benefits of essential fatty acids such as omega-3, which may reduce the risk of diseases and are essential for life. Try to include seafood in your diet at least three times per week. Eggs are another suitable protein source. Eggs contain cholesterol. However, dietary cholesterol is poorly absorbed by the body. Therefore, this does not affect your cholesterol level. Eggs are a nutrient-dense food and are a natural source of at least 11 different vitamins and minerals. Eggs are versatile, relatively inexpensive and can be prepared in different ways to suit your tastes. Eggs can make an important contribution to a well-balanced diet as they are a protein-rich food, but they also contain fats and cholesterol, so should be consumed in moderation. It is recommended that we can enjoy up to six eggs per week as part of a healthy, balanced diet. Nuts and seeds are another excellent source of unsaturated fats, fiber, and various vitamins and minerals. When looking on a food label, you will notice that all nuts and seeds are very high in total fat. However, enjoying 30 grams of unsalted nuts at least five days a week will help to reduce your risk of cardiovascular disease. Choose all plain unsalted nuts and seeds. Enjoy a 30 gram portion of nuts as a quick healthy snack. Add seeds such as chia, flax, pumpkin, sesame, sunflower or linseed to breakfast cereal. Add roasted walnuts or pine nuts to a salad. Toss some cashew nuts through a vegetable stir fry. Nuts and seeds are very versatile. 
They can be taken wherever you go and enjoyed at any time. They have a long shelf life and require little preparation. Many nuts and seeds have a positive effect on heart health, reducing the risk of cardiovascular health problems and can help reduce and stabilise blood glucose levels due to their high fibre content. When nuts and seeds are added to a meal which contains carbohydrate, the nuts will naturally help lower the total glycemic index of the meal. Aim to consume a variety of nuts and seeds each day, as they all contain different vitamins, minerals and ratios of healthy fats. Nuts and seeds are a great nutrient source and are a great option for people living with diabetes. It is recommended that enjoying 30 grams of nuts each day is very beneficial to our health. Try to choose unsalted varieties. Legumes, including peas, beans and lentils, have a low GI and contain soluble fibre, which can help to lower cholesterol levels. They are also a good source of nutrients and are a great meat substitute. It is recommended that you start to include two serves of legumes a week, then increase up to four serves. One serve equals half a cup of cooked beans. This is also a serve of carbohydrate as well as a serve of protein. Choose tinned or dried legumes with no added fat and compare products for the lowest in sodium. Legumes such as red kidney beans, chickpeas, split peas, lentils, pinto beans, soybeans and baked beans can be added to soups, stir-fries, casseroles and salads. Rinse canned legumes with water to reduce the sodium content. Legumes contain low GI carbohydrates and protein which keeps you feeling fuller for longer and provides a slow, steady source of glucose instead of the sudden surge that can occur after eating carbohydrate-only foods. Legumes are cheap and readily available to use and are very easy to cook from scratch when you purchase them dried, but you can always buy them pre-cooked and canned to save time and for convenience. Breads are a good source of carbohydrate and can be a great source of fibre. Choose nutrient-dense fillings for your sandwiches such as egg, salmon, baked beans, tuna or turkey and lots of salads. Look for breads with more than 5 grams of fibre per 100 grams, less than 400 milligrams of sodium per 100 grams, less than 10 grams of total fat per 100 grams, less than 3 grams of saturated fat per 100 grams. You can use this label reading information for other bread products such as wraps, pita bread, crumpets and English muffins. Eating too much bread in one meal may raise blood glucose levels above your target range. If bread is the only carbohydrate option in a main meal, most people can include two to three slices. Choose lower GI breads, such as brown bread with grains, soy and linseed, sourdough and rye. Croissants, focaccia bread, garlic bread, Danish pastries and cheese breads are high in fat. Speak to your accredited practicing dietitian to find how much carbohydrate you should have within a meal. Most rice has a high GI, with lower GI rices being basmati and dungara. Most pasta and noodles have a low GI. However, along with rice, it is important to ensure your portion size is not too big, especially if you have type 2 diabetes or watching your weight. If these foods are the only carbohydrate within a main meal, most people can have about one cup of cooked pasta, noodles or rice. A third of a cup of cooked pasta is 15 grams of carbohydrate, so one cup would be three serves. If you have more than one cup of cooked pasta in your meal, this can lead to an increase in blood glucose levels. Balance your rice and pasta dishes with lots of non-starchy vegetables and a protein-based sauce. Choose plain pasta, noodles and rice. Instant noodles and sauces are often high in saturated fat and sodium. Tomato and vegetable-based sauces are generally lower in energy compared to cream-based sauces. For healthy everyday snacks, enjoy fruit, milk drinks, yogurt, nuts, seeds, bread and breakfast cereals. Cereal-based bars are often high in fat and added sugar, therefore have them sometimes instead of every day. 
When you do have these, choose the cereal-based bars with the lowest total fat and saturated fat and highest in fibre. Cakes, muffins, biscuits, ice cream and chips are sometimes foods and should be enjoyed on occasion. These foods contain added fats and are often high in energy. Eating a planned snack between meals can help curb your hunger while adding a nutritious energy boost to your day. It is a great opportunity to fit in another serving of whole grains, fruit, vegetables, nuts or seeds. Choosing snack foods wisely and monitoring portion sizes will help to optimise blood glucose levels and give you the sustained energy you need to get through the day. Remember that healthy eating for someone living with diabetes is the same healthy eating recommendations for everyone. Enjoy a variety of food from the five food groups. Choose foods that are low in saturated fat, salt and added sugar, and try to choose carbohydrate foods with a low glycemic index, which will help with managing blood glucose levels.